The Black Hornet Nano Drone is a military micro unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV for short. Developed by Prox Dynamics AS of Norway, this micro nano drone is in use by armed forces of Norway and multiple militaries around the globe. Though the company Prox Dynamics AS was bought by Teledyne Fleer in 2016 for 134 million US dollars, while one single Black Hornet drone will cost you 195,000 US dollars. The drone measures around 16 by 2.5 centimeters, that's 6 by 1 inches, and provides troops on the ground with local situational awareness. It is small enough to fit in one hand and weighs 18 grams, which is 0.7 ounces, with its battery. The UAV is equipped with a camera which transmits video and still images to the operator. It was developed as part of a 20 million euro contract for 160 units with Marlboro Communications LTD. An operator can be trained to operate the Black Hornet in 20 minutes. It has three cameras, one looking forward, one straight down, and one pointing down at 45 degrees. A Black Hornet package contains two helicopters, and since a 90% charge is reached in 20 to 25 minutes, the same as its hovering time, while when one needs to be recharged, the other is ready to fly. Top speed is 21 kilometers an hour. Capable of flying for 20 minutes on quick electrical motors, the drone has been used to look around corners, over walls, and other obstacles to identify any dangers and enemy positions. The Black Hornet is connected to the operator with a digital data link and GPS. Images are displayed on a small handheld terminal, which can be used by the operator to control the drone. The drone is launched from a small box that can be strapped to a utility belt, which also stores transmitted data. Since the drone itself does not store any data, which is an advantage if captured, while operators can steer the UAV or set waypoints for it to fly autonomously itself. In October of 2014, Prox Dynamics unveiled a version of the PD-100 Black Hornet with night vision capabilities, long wave infrared and day video sensors that would transmit video or high resolution still images via a digital data link with a 1.6 kilometer range. To date, over 3,000 Black Hornets have been sold and delivered since 2014, which is both very interesting and also a little bit unsettling considering how covert and stealth these high-tech nano drones can be. You just never know nowadays if anybody's spying on you. Brain time, congratulations, you made it this far in the video. What would you do if I told you you could have 25 years of good luck and all you'd have to do is like this video and also subscribe if you haven't already. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash that like button and you'll get 25 years of good luck. And now, back to the video. Some people say that flying first class is the best experience anybody can have, while others say 
It's definitely the most comforting experience you can have on an airplane 35,000 feet above the ground. And so when we think about robots in the sky, most often it's probably recalling some sci-fi anime manga or film. But actually, in fact, that notion of robots in the sky being related to anything sci-fi or paranormal or superhuman is kind of outdated. Because living in the year 2023 with supersonic boom jets that are able to fly from Vancouver to Sydney in less than 5 hours and giant airliners like the Airbus A380 which even has a shower on board a commercial airline for first class passengers then the idea of humanoid robots on a commercial airplane shouldn't be so far off. In fact Huge aviation groups like the Airbus Group have teamed up with Robotics Laboratory to launch a new joint research program that aims to develop humanoid robots that will be used for aviation manufacturing. The project is called Comanoid, which stands for Multi-Contact Collaborative Humanoids. By combining Japanese expertise in hardware and robotics along with advanced French knowledge of mathematics and algorithms, the joint venture encourages initial progress in fields such as robot design and haptics, as well as tactile perception and continuous KDAR. The team spoke and said building on these achievements would develop multi-contact locomotion, which enables humanoid robots to move using not just their feet, but also other body parts such as elbows, knees, and hands as a human would when crawling. A new breed of humanoid robots. While in South Korea, a company called Case have gone beyond the research of developing unmanned aircrafts to testing humanoid robots designed to operate a regular aircraft by sitting in the pilot's seat and using controls just like a human would. But all of this is just boring, to be honest. What if we could have humanoid human-like female robots with giant boobs be our flight attendants or have personal companion robots in first class. But if so, then you would probably want to exercise some caution around the private onboard shower on the Airbus A380. Otherwise, you could maybe find yourself being electrocuted on an airplane. Probably not the steamy electrical scenario you were hoping for. Because they're robots, right? So in case you guys didn't know, every five years the world hosts a world expo. And it just so happens the next one happens to be in the year 2025, which also happens to be held in Osaka, Japan. The same very hometown as probably one of the most famous female human-like robots, which is Erica and her creator, Professor the mad scientist Dr. Hiroshi Ishiguro and I'm super excited to share this with you guys because I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to visit Japan in 2025. So the World Expo is an event that usually takes place for six months out of the whole year. In 2020 it was held in Dubai. In 2030 it's scheduled to be in Busan, South Korea but in 2025 The expo is going to be in Osaka, Japan. Anyways, check out some of the footage that I found about 2025. Anyways, check this out. You met me on the street. Would I startle you? Would you greet me just like any other person? The relationship between robotics and the human body is closer than you might think. In the not so distant future, even robots like me might be a part of everyday life. When I was seven years old, I visited Expo 70 Osaka. Many of the technologies on display there seemed improbable. 
but today, nearly 50 years later, they are commonplace. My name is Hiroshi Ishiguro. I'm a roboticist. At my pavilion at Expo 2025, Osaka, Kansai, Japan, I will explore how humanity will evolve through technology. What will the world be like in 50 years? We need only imagine.